Hello everyone, I'm Renown Zero, and today we're going to be talking about James Gunn responding to rumors regarding the recasting and attempts to change his make to explain his changes he's making with the DCEU. So we're going to jump right into this article from Bounding into Comics. We'll just jump right into it. DC, DC Studios boss James Gunn recently responds to rumors regarding recasting of the DC live action characters, as well as explaining why he and Peter Afro are making the changes they are for the DCU. Twitter user and scooper My Time to Shine H recently claimed that Gunn and Saffron will be recasting nearly the entire live action DC cast. He noted that Henry Cavill, Ben Affleck, Ezra Miller, Ray Fisher, Zachary Levi, and Jason Momoa will no longer be in the roles of Superman, Batman, The Flash, Cyborg, Shazam, and Aquaman. However, the scooper also indicated that Jennifer Holland, who plays Amelia Harcourt in The Suicide Squad and Peacemaker, will be returning. The scooper also claimed that the entire cast of The Suicide Squad, or what was left of it following the film, will return, including Viola Davis as Amanda Waller. As you can see the tweet here, <coughs> bear with me. Gunn refuted this rumor, writing on Twitter that the Suicide Squad would indeed get recast, while also stating that the previous live action actors will be staying on in their roles. User McLean W tweeted to Gunn, so who knows if it's true, but recasting all the main DCU characters, but keeping some will be interesting how Peacemaker and, and SS characters such actors live on. But the others don't, particularly when they all interacted together. Gunn replied, I keep seeing posts with this untrue theory. We're not recasting everyone except the Suicide Squad. The interactions here. One character will be recast as Superman. Henry Cavill announced he would no longer be playing the character. We already know this. He's doing Warhammer. I did this in a video yesterday. It's unclear what the fate of Van Affleck and Gal Gadot are. Godot seemingly indicated she still has a character earlier this month. She posted to Twitter on December 6 a few years ago. It was announced that I was going to play Wonder Woman. So I've been grateful for the opportunity to play such an incredible, iconic character. And more than anything, I'm grateful for you, the fans. Can't wait to share her next chapter with you. She did do Wonder Woman 1984, but they believe recently they said that she would. they cut her scenes out of the Flash movie. So I'm sure she's out as well. Gunn previously claimed that they were trying to find a project for Affleck to direct, but has not commented on his role as Batman. Gunn wrote a few days on Twitter, met with Ben yesterday precisely because he wants to direct, and we want him to direct, we just want to, we just have to find the right project. As for Miller, Momo, Levi, and Fisher, it's been radio silence. However, Miller will be reprising his role as Barry Allen in the upcoming Flash film. Momo returns to Aquaman in the upcoming Aquaman Lost Kingdom. And Levi returns to Shazam and Shazam Fury of the Gods. It's possible the radio silence on these three is due to the upcoming film projects, and Gunn doesn't want to hurt their box office potential. However, that's pure conjecture. Nevertheless, Gunn also did attempt to provide an explanation for the changes, and then here Peter Saffron are making regarding the DCU. He wrote on Twitter, quote, One of the things Peter and I were aware of when we took the job as heads of DC Studios were a certain minority of people online that could be, well, uproarious and unkind, to say at least. Yeah, considering the dude that, that told someone the other day that they need to get out of their mom's basement, yeah. But, you know, the fans are the unkind people, and you're not, right? It's the tweet. He continued, quote, Our choices for the DCU are based upon what we believe is the best for the story and the best for the DC characters who have been around for nearly 85 years. Perhaps these choices are great, perhaps not, but they are made with sincere hearts and integrity and always with the story in mind. We already know that you getting rid of Henry Cavill as Superman is one of the worst things decisions you've ever made. It's like you guys don't want to make money. He's a very popular actor. It's probably because he doesn't toe the line with your trash woke trash, you know, the trash wokeness of Hollywood, which is probably why they got rid of him. No one loves to be harassed or called names, but to be frank, we've been through significantly worse. Disrespect for Alcar would never, ever affect our actions. And I'm pretty sure it's not a silent minority. He's just making this shit up as Hollywood does. He went on. We were aware that there would be a period of turbulence when we took this gig, and we knew we would sometimes have to make difficult and not so obvious choices, especially in the wake of the fractious nature of what became before us. Which, in my opinion, the, the Snyderverse was garbage anyway. But Henry Cavill as Superman was really good. Gal Gadot as Wonder Woman, really good. I didn't really like Ben Affleck too much. He concluded writing, This means little to us in comparison to our jobs as artists and custodians in helping to create a wide and wonderful future for DC. After attempting to explain his and Saffron's decisions, Gunn confirmed the Blue Beetle movie is still planned to be released next year. When asked about it, he replied, Oh yes. Gunn and Saffron not let, yet laid out a vision for DCU, I'll bet. He previously promised they would share more details at the beginning of the new year. He did provide details for the Superman film he is writing. He revealed those plans on Twitter and writing, Among those on the slate of Superman, in the initial stages of our story will be focused on the early part of Superman's life, so the character will not be played by Henry Cavill, which we've seen a 
billion times in and I'm pretty sure Superman the Animated Series is going to be the best depiction of his early life and him as a reporter. We, we just want to see Superman in his prime. And you got rid of the most, quite frankly, probably one of the most popular actors right now in Hollywood. And you got rid of him because you want to do a younger version of Superman. People want to see Henry Cavill as Superman. They want to see a Superman in his prime. Possibly... A trilogy possibly to the point where you have John Kent as well you know Superman's son taking you know taking over at some point you know but <clears throat> people in Hollywood really don't care what the actual fans want they just care about what they want hey I like James Gunn's Guardians of the Galaxy movie so and those are the it's really the only movie I've ever, I've ever watched of his but you know, it is what it is. We'll see what happens. Because, you know, they, they still want to make that trash Tony Casey Coates Black Superman film. You know, the guy who hates 9-11 responders and wish that they would all, you know, delete them, you know, be deleted, essentially. But, you know, it is what it is. Well, that's all I got for you guys today. Thank you all for checking out this video. I appreciate you checking it out. If you do like this, make sure you like to hit the like button, comment below what you think about all this, subscribe for more content, and as always, I will see you all on the next one. Peace.